Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper Blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. That's right. Today we're looking at the Repitch plugin, one of the included plugins with Reaper. I'm going to go through the settings and uh, then show you some of the presets that I've set up. This plugin doesn't come with any presets, and uh, I think it's too bad because there's a lot you can do with it. And uh, so I'm going to share all the presets that I've made. It was a lot of fun making up the presets because uh, I just laughed my ass off at some of the possibilities you can get with a, a voice. So uh, let's start with the factory default and go through the interface here. Uh, wet and dry controls. Generally, you're going to just have this 100% wet, have it on a voice. Enabled and solo active shifter. Then we have the pitch uh, section is this top area, these four controls. And these have basically affect the same uh, range. This one goes 24 semitones. This one does 200 cents, so fine tuning control. This one just does the semitones, and this one just does octaves. So uh, you can't, so let's say if you want, if you want two octaves, that's as far as you can go. You can't actually add in another two octaves below. Um, but if you put this to minus 24 and plus 2, it uh, cancels it out, and you don't get any pitch change. And then some of the algorithms allow you to use the formant shift. So there's a full 24, uh, actually 48 semitone range, uh, plus fine-tuning 200 cents and uh, 18 and semitones. And then for this uh, shifter, you have volume and panning. Now, down here, this is important because this is basically the, the sound generation that you get. So uh, different algorithms have totally different sounds. Some of them good, some of them bad. It really depends on what you want. Uh, I think this plugin is great when it sounds the worst. And um, May as well just show you. So uh, we're going to go back to that sound example before of the intro. And we'll do it without any pitch shifting, and then I'll jump through some of the voice presets that I've come up with. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. Hey, what's, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from the Reaper blog, and today we're going to have a look at Repitch. So I don't know about you, but I think those are pretty funny and kind of useful uh, once you know what to do with them. So one of my favorite ones is this big guy, because f to me, it makes me sound like I'm, you know, 10 feet taller. Hey, what's up, guys? This is John. And if we take a badly performed monster growl, such as this, I'll put it back to default. <laughs> Right? You put her on the big guy. Now it's an ogre. Put her on monster. And it's starting to get pretty scary. And now if you go to item properties and change the playback rate to half and turn off the uh, reserve or preserve pitch, then we have a pretty big monster. Right, and uh, here's the demon. Now one has more high end because we're using the um, format shift in the Elastic Three Pro. And it gets a bit grainy there, but it's still pretty cool. And uh, midget demon. That one's using two shifters, so one going um, just format shift, 
and then um, got down two octaves plus a bit more formant shift there. Let's look at more monster growls. So here's with no pitch shifting. <laughs> The second clip is down an octave and half the speed. So on this uh, big guy preset. <laughs> and the monster preset. <laughs> and I'll show you in the Elastic 3 Pro algorithm, there's these different options for preserving which pitches. So um, this has an interesting effect on the sound. So if I put on normal, and then compare that to highest pitches, so that's preserving the high end of the original clip. I put it on lowest. It's darker sounding and it preserves more of the original low end in my voice. So, um, so you just have to experiment with each voice um, and algorithm to figure out which ones sound the best or worst, if, if that's what you're going for. Um, so now let's move away from voices and look at processing drum loops. So um, basically, these are just glitch effects that I've come up with. So I'm going to bypass this. And we'll loop this section and go to the next preset. With this simple windowed fast algorithm, there's all these different options. Most of these glitch presets that I've come up with use uh, these settings. And it's really interesting. The um, I think it was the 300 with uh, 42 millisecond creates an echo. Right? And uh, this one that was, uh, I think, 150 milliseconds. Uh, no. Oh, if you go down an octave. It almost sounds like it's reversed. Kind of interesting and unexpected. Uh, let's look at this glitch up one again on a loop that is half the speed. And let's try out uh, different parameters. Some of these sound really phasey. That's kind of fun to play around with that. Um, if you listen to the low end here, it's kind of like an 8 bit effect. So let's add in, um, let's add in re EQ and kind of isolate that low end.
I like that a lot. That's repitch. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it doesn't always sound the best, certainly not the best tool out there for this sort of work, but, um, but it's a lot of fun and it's worth playing around with. That's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to get your hands on these presets, go to the blog post that accompanies this video and you can download them and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.